One country down and a couple dozen more to go. Donald Trump has announced that he is pulling funding out of the World Health Organization, and it's about time. We started a petition here at Rebel News. It's at whowantsout.com. You can go there to sign the petition yourself. And it was calling on Western governments to pull out of the corrupt WHO. The corrupt WHO is run by Dr. Tedros. And Dr. Tedros is in quotation marks because while that's what he calls himself, he's not actually a medical doctor. He's the first leader of the WHO ever to not have a medical degree. Dr. Tedros is actually a corrupt communist politician from Africa who's in the pockets of China and only supports Chinese actors. That's why he nominated Robert Mugabe to the position of UN Goodwill Ambassador. Now, we've been calling on countries to pull out of the WHO, pull their funding out and direct it to pandemic planning strategies that are not China first at all costs, as the WHO currently is. If you see through all of the WHO's actions, look through the timeline, you'll see that all the way from January, back uh, actually in late December, when uh, we all knew that the uh, COVID-19, that the Wuhan flu virus was transmittable between uh, humans, we all knew it, but the WHO for some reason claimed that that wasn't the case. And it continued on and on and on, saying that the United States and Western countries shouldn't close their borders to hotspots like China. And well, now look where we are. The United States has the most cases by almost an order of magnitude in the entire world. And and on top of that, Canada is rapidly rising and seniors' homes uh, across the country are being plagued with this virus. It is a serious problem and the WHO is to blame. Listen to Donald Trump, uh, what he has to say when he says that he's going to be pulling funding. Today I'm instructing my administration to halt funding of the World Health Organization while a review is conducted to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of the coronavirus. Everybody knows what's going on there. American taxpayers provide between $400 million and $500 million per year to the WHO. In contrast, China contributes roughly $40 million a year and even less. As the organization's leading sponsor, the United States has a duty to insist on full accountability, one of the most dangerous and costly decisions from the WHO was its disastrous decision to oppose travel restrictions from China and other nations. They were very much opposed to what we did. Fortunately, I was not convinced and suspended travel from China, saving untold numbers of lives. Thousands and thousands of people would have died. Our petition at whowantsout.com has amassed over 21,000 signatures over the course of the last week. I'm really proud of that. And we're still going to be sending it to Donald Trump just so he knows how many people support his decision to pull out of the WHO. But we're also going to be sending it to Boris Johnson and Justin Trudeau. Uh, every Western leader who has citizens who have signed our petition, we're going to be sending it to them. We've made huge progress here with Donald Trump. I'm really proud of the fact that our, our petition has reached uh, as many people as it has, and we're going to continue up our pressure on Western leaders because it is time that we redirect our capital, our pandemic planning capital, uh, towards organizations that actually care about outcomes, uh, positive outcomes for Western nations, instead of what the World Health Organization does, which is prioritize China at all costs. For Rebel News, I'm Kian Bexty. Thanks for checking out our coverage here at Rebel News. Be sure to like and subscribe to us, but also ring the notification bell at the bottom of the screen on YouTube. If you do that, you'll stay up to date with everything. Uh, even if YouTube is redirecting traffic to mainstream media sites right now, that will keep you in the loop. And also go to whowantsout.com and sign that petition.